there, my name's Chris and I'm going to show you how to create a product box using Generate Blocks. The first thing you need to make sure you've got installed is the Generate Blocks plugin and make sure you've got Generate Press theme installed as well. So the product box we're going to create is this one here. The colours might be different um, on the design, however replicating this is pretty simple. should take about 10 minutes. So to start with, we need to create a container, a generate blocks container. So to do that, we click this add block here and we select container. We then change the padding to 20. I think the default padding on generate blocks containers is 40. So to change that, you just go down to the right hand side and you hit spacing. As you can see, it's 40. So we're going to sync it up and we're going to change it to 20. Let's go. We're also going to add a border, so we're going to add a 7 pixel border size and as you can see it creates the black border. We're going to change the colour to red, like so. So that's our border or outline of the product box created. So next we're going to add a two grids to it. The first grid will contain the hour pick button at the top and the next grid will be split in two with one side having the image and the right side having the description, title and the banner. So to add grids, we simply go down here and we hit the add block button in the middle of the container. Then we select grid and then for the top one, we're going to do a full size grid like so. Then we'll select the container again and then we'll add a block and we'll add another grid and we'll do a 50-50 grid just now like so. So that makes up the, the basis of our uh, product box. So to start with we are going to click on the first grid at the top and we'll work on our, our pick banner. So we'll select headline and uh, any headline generated by generate blocks defaults to a h2 element but we're going to change it to a paragraph so to do that we go up to the right hand side and we click paragraph we're just going to call it our top pick um, we're now going to style the button so we'll se select colors we'll do the background color the same as the border we will then uh, change the text color to white and we'll add some padding to the to the banner. So to do that, we select spacing, and we will add a top padding of ten. To the right and to the left, we'll add twenty. To the bottom, we'll add ten. Perfect. We will change the um, weight of the our top pick font so we'll change it to 700 you can change it to whether you ever you want we'll center it and then we will go down to spacing and we'll and make it in line there we go so that's our top pick banner as you can see it's not in the position we want it to be we want it to be up here so to do that it's pretty simple so we just select the element which is down here so we can see our element tree so we've got document container grid container headline we just edit the headline to move the banner to the top or to the position of of this one we select container and then we go into spacing and then we go down to margin and on the top we just bring it up or bring it down so we're going to go minus on the margin we're going to go minus 45 and once we come off that it's in the perfect place you can put a border on a, a not border a margin on the left hand side to move it over further to the to the right if you like and to do that you would simply just click on that select container again go to spacing and on the margin you could put a left border Of 40 for example like so 
Okay. Now we are going to add our image. So to do that, we come down to this grid, we click add block, and then we select image. I've already uploaded this earlier, so we just select it and put it in there. As you can see, um, wait, I'm going to delete that image first, just two seconds. So we're here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change the grid size. So this is 50%, this is 50%. Um, what we're going to make it is 33%, 66%. So to do that, we just click on that there. So we want to be container, grid, container. And we'll change the first one to 33. As you can see, this one, it gets reduced because it's still 50. Um, so change that, we just click on there and we'll click 66. And that's a better resemblance to the, the, the top product box. Um, next, we'll put the image in. So to do that, we select add block. We go to image and media library. I'll put the laptop in there. Then we will add the title, description, and button. So for the title, we just hit add block and we hit headline. Create a H2. If you're using a H3, select H3. If you're using H2, select H2. You can always change the font size and I'll show you how. So we'll select an H3 for that. And we'll call it HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. And we can go into topography and we can click advanced. You can change the font family. For instance, we'll put the font size as 26. We'll do 26 and we'll do a weight of 700, for example. Next, we add the description below it. So, to do that, we add the block again. We click headline as well, and then we select paragraph. Then we can just add the paragraph, just copy what's been written above. So that's the description created. Next, we'll create the button. So to do that, we just hit add block and we select button. We then select the buttons container of the button down here. We can then center it and fill the horizontal space like so. To edit the button, we just click on it. As you can see, we've now selected the buttons or the button, sorry, there. We'll just change it to check price at Amazon. In this section here, we can change the color. So we'll change the background to the orange, like so. We will change the border color. We'll choose custom. We'll do a slightly darker orange. And then we'll go back into spacing and we'll put a border on the bottom of four, like so. We will then add an icon so you can add icons. We'll do that one there. We will also change the font weight to make it stand out more, like so. Um, and basically that's our product box created. Now I'm going to change the, or put a margin in between the image and the title. Um, you don't really need it just now. However, once we go to the mobile, mobile view, you might need it because these will be stacked on top of each other. So if we click here and go to mobile,
we can add some spacing at the top so we'll do a margin of 15 and then we'll just save the draft what we will do is we'll just preview it then so I will go preview in a new tab and that's our product box there very similar to the one at the top and you can change the hover over colors and everything I'll just show you that in a second to see how it copes in the mobile view we'll just click here I'm using the iPhone 6, 7, 8 plus uh, I can scroll down and you can see it looks pretty good so to change the hover over colors of the button you can just click the button um, and then you can come down to sorry go back to desktop click the button and colors and you can see the hover over color so you can change that to yellow for example or blue or you can do a custom one like a darker orange I will just put that back to black okay so the next part is a uh, linking the button so to link the button you simply need to click on it and then you can put your link in here For example then you can open it in a new tab and add a no, fo no follow you can also link the image up here and putting it in here open a new tab and you can put no follow in there then to use this on multiple multiple parts of your site such as in different posts what I do is I save it to a reusable block so add to reuse, reusable blocks I then call it something like product box and then I save it and then when you come to I'll just delete this when you come to add it in a post for example all you need to do to insert it is add block browse all reusable product box GP you can see the other ones I've tested out before Click this here, convert to regular block, and then you can click on it and edit. So you can change the links, change the links, for example. You can change the colors of things, and then um, just save the post as normal. And you can reuse the block on different pages. So that's how you create a product box using Generate Blocks. If you get any questions, you can just fire me a message on Facebook and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.